Yo, it's Will with Very Great Software, and in today's video, we are expanding upon our Firebase function. Uh, we are receiving the auth token and sending it off to the Firebase function and then getting a response back from that function. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be a pretty fun ride because I forgot to press record in the middle of my recording. I had paused it because I ran into a, a few uh, build issues and uh, yeah, so I deeply apologize for that. Leave a comment and dislike the video um, if you don't want me to do that again. I deeply apologize. And for those that are not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and that bell so you can get notified when I do release the next video. Uh, yeah, sorry, this is kind of disappointing and sad, but uh, roll the film. And it looks like they already have a Hello World created, so let's go ahead and uncomment it. And let me zoom in so you guys can see, you probably can't see. Yeah, and this is just a very basic structure of how a function looks like. So basically, whenever an, an HTTP request comes in, um, we're gonna be logging that. So you can actually go through all the logs that happen within a function within the Firebase UI. We can go see that. And then it's gonna respond with the string hello from Firebase. So now if we do Firebase deploy, after uncommenting all those stuff, because if you do a deploy with all that commented out, um, you're not gonna, it's, it's probably gonna fail. Any day now, it's taking quite a while to upload this thing. All right, it finally deployed. It probably took like, I think two minutes to do so, just with the hello world function that we have here. So now if we go to finish, um, you'll see that we have our hello world. So if you see here, it has this URL, we should be able to just copy this and then open up a new tab and um, press enter and you can see hello world from Firebase. So our function works. Now we're gonna try to go ahead and actually call it from our extension. All right, so before we get into actually making our uh, Firebase function call and grabbing that auth token, First, we need to do, I can't remember if I had you guys do this, but in the permissions block, we need to ask for the identity permission. And then secondly, again, I can't remember, we need to create an OAuth2 object here. So uh, wherever you want with inside of here, just make sure it's on this very first level. Um, go ahead and create OAuth2, and that's gonna be an object. And with inside the object, we have client ID and scopes. So our client ID is going to be the client ID from the key that we had created within the Google API dashboard. So if we go ahead and copy that, you will copy that over into here. Cool. And then for scopes, all we need is this scope here. So HTTPS, Google APIs.com, auth, user info, profile. That's all we need. And secondly, we need to add to our content security policies. So in order for us to actually call out to our function, we need to take this here um, and we can get rid of the path. We just need uh, this. Everything up from HTTPS all the way down to the .NET. Don't worry about the path. Um, that is already uh, suggested. You, you just need to give it the actual domain name of what you're trying to call outside of the Chrome extension. All right, so the only context we're able to actually grab that auth token from Chrome is within our background script or a pop-up script. You can't do it from a content script. Um, cr the Chrome browser won't allow you to do that. You need to make a call back to the background or pop-up script in order to do this. So what we need to do is call chrome.runtime.onmessage.addListener and then we're going to be starting a Lambda function. So the reason why we're doing this is because from our content script, we're going to be sending a message to the background script. And then, so this message needs to be equal to login. So this, is, this can be whatever you want it to be, but for the sake of us, this is just going to provide us a way to tell the background script like, hey, we're wanting to go through a login process. Can you do that for us? And so after we do that, then we're actually gonna be calling this chrome.identity.getAuthToken. Um, interactive true, this just brings up a little window um, allowing the user to go and select their profile and everything. 
And then after we get it, uh, we're just going to log it out to the console and then just close everything out. So this should just be our background script, uh, runtime on message at listener, passing in a function. And then if the message that we're receiving into the background script, if that is equal to log in, then get the user's uh, auth token and print it out to the screen, to the console, not the screen. All right, so now within our main.js, we're actually gonna be calling back to the background script. Um, and so for orders to do that, we need to call the chrome.runtime.send message. Um, and this login right here, this is the message that we're passing to the background script. So this needs to match with this. It can also be an object, it can be an array, it can be whatever you want. But for the sake of our purpose, it's just gonna be a string. And then we are gonna be using a callback function. So basically, when we send off this message, log in to the background script, um, the background script should respond, but right now we're not responding yet. Uh, so the background message will, res the background script will respond with some sort of message. Um, yeah, so here we're just setting this thing up for in the future. Uh, and then just closing this thing out. So if the message.type is Firebase, and then go ahead and log out the response and then trigger the alert logged in. And so I'm actually gonna change this up a little bit. Um, so we are gonna be alerting the actual auth token and then we're gonna go back to our background.js here and we are going to be expanding on this uh, just so that we can get a better sense. So after message here, we're gonna add sender. And then also after sender, we need to add send response. So this is basically just who sent us the message and this is the callback function within our main.js here. So send response, whenever we call this, it's gonna come into this callback function. So within our background script, after we get the user info, uh, we are going to send the response and I'm going to be making this an object I'm making this an object because in my main.js here um, the message that we're getting back there's a type and a response so an object of type that has a type in response fields so we are going to be adding type, which is Firebase. And then the response, which is just the user info. This is gonna be the auth token string. So let's hope this thing works. Um, yeah, so in order for us to make this work, we just need to open up Chrome. Let me expand this. Um, Great try. All right, so now if we just open up any web page, we should get an alert with our auth token. And it looks like we have an error. So I'm gonna try to figure out what's going on and get back to you guys in a second. All right, so I found the problem. Uh, it was not within our main.js, it was from our background.js. Um, so the very last thing we need to do in this uh, function here is to return true. Now, if you don't have this, Chrome will think that this is synchronous. So it's gonna run all this and then call this callback function. So what was happening was I didn't have this return true. So it would run all this code and before it would get to actually getting the auth token, it would just immediately come here and then it would just poop out. So when we have return true here, that's telling the browser that, hey, this is an asynchronous function. The reason why it's asynchronous is because of this function call here. So get auth, I mean, obviously if you think about it, this is gonna be non-blocking because we need to open up a window for the user to click and select their account and then that way we can then get their token and then send it back in the response so this is going to be asynchronous so all you need to do is just return true here 
and then when we go to any page I'm just gonna refresh you can see we got my token cool so now that we got the auth token what we're gonna do is with inside of here um, we're gonna go and call our firebase function so we are gonna be using fetch so inside of fetch we are going to be passing in our URL that is right here and it's super difficult to copy for some reason so fetch all right so this is going to return a promise now the way we handle promises in javascript um, is we call await so this is just going to wait for the response to come back and then put us the response into here otherwise we'd have to do like a dot then then dot catch um, on top of this we need to make this an async function uh, because in order for us to use await we need to let uh, JavaScript know that this is an asynchronous function and we're going to be awaiting here and then we're just going to log this out just to actually yeah let's log it out to actually see our response so if we go back to Chrome and then reload reloaded rerun this so this should have triggered so if we click on this background to HTML here, it'll actually open up a little like dev tools window. And this is like tied to the background part of your extension, not the foreground where the content script is and where the pop-up script is. All right, so for an order to actually see the response from the function that hello at Firebase, I think it was, we just need to call the text function. And this will give us yet again another promise. So we need to do an await. And then on top of this, what we're going to do is instead of, uh, at the moment, we're just gonna have it only be at HTTPS www.google.com. So I was getting an error. You just need to add the forward slash star. So now that that is loaded, we can, I didn't realize that I had paused the recording. Um, so hopefully I can remember where I left off from where I paused it. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go through everything real quick. Hopefully I can remember. Uh, so what I had done was I gotten rid of the log statement and I am doing this fetch and I kind of changed it up a little bit to have the back ticks instead and have token equals the token that we're actually getting back from get auth token. So the token string here is gonna be available to us in the query parameter called token. And, oops. And uh, then we're just gonna, whatever response we get from the Firebase function, we are sending that back to our main.js here. And then, um, in our Firebase function, what I did was uh, in this logger.info, um, I made the back ticks and I said token colon request dot query dot token. Now this will take this query parameter here token and take that user info and that's going to be available to us here in this uh, variable. So it's going to get logged out. And then I just I sent the same response back, and I can't remember if I pa where I paused that, but I also added a return true here because um, it is asynchronous. Pretty sure I already said that. And in our manifest.json, um, again, be sure that your URL to your function is right here. But also to not have a cross origin error, we need to add a permission of HTTPS forward slash forward slash uh, star forward slash so this is going to get rid of the cross origin request error that you would probably see if you didn't have this um, so adding this we're allowed we're able to from any page that we're visiting we're able to call out to our firebase function and then after making a change to our firebase function i had called the firebase deploy command in order for us to deploy our new changes to our function so now that we are here at logs, if we go ahead and refresh our extension just to make sure, 
and then if we go to visit something like google.com so I'm dumb um, we do need this hello world here so I can't believe I forgot this the name of the function needs to be in the path so we need to have forward slash the function name hello world and then have the token equals whatever so this should be our URL uh, the function endpoint and then forward slash the actual function name and then we're passing in token of uh, the auth token that we got back from Google Chrome. Okay, so now we refresh our extension. So if we go to refreshgoogle.com, hello from Firebase, so that is a good sign, okay. And it should have logged out the, um, the token. Ah, here it is, right here. It just came in. That wraps it up for this video. I deeply apologize again for you know that big uh, the big hiccup and the 15 minutes. I apologize for that. Um, I'm sure it's fine for some people, but I hope you guys can stick around for the next videos in the series because we are going to be expanding even more on our Firebase function. Uh, we're probably going to be taking that token and, and decrypting it. And yeah, so just stay tuned for what's next and probably more, more mess ups. Uh, I'm sorry. Peace.